As I mentioned before, this particular survey was already triangulated. And when I brought in the ASCII file, I brought in line one through to line eight, and that was the triangulation information. If you don't have the triangulation information, you would then have to go to your terrain mode, select model, either use the IntelliLines, and with the IntelliLines functionality, you are able to go and specify which survey points are to be treated as a priority when doing the triangulation. Also give you the option to go to triangulate in memory or on disk. If you select on disk, this allows you to triangulate the terrain surface using paged memory on disk. It is therefore slower than the in-memory option that handles far larger models. If you select the in-memory option, it uses normal memory, so it might be limited to the available memory on your system. Now, when we use the triangulate function, this form of model creation uses a constraint Delaunay tessellation algorithm to form the most equal angular triangles that are possible. If I were to go and select in memory, there you go and specify which surface to triangulate and specify the maximum line length. If I use 30, it means that all surveyed points, irrespective of their names, will be joined if they are within the team meter radius of each other. Before you triangulate, it may be a good idea to go and check for duplicates. You could do this by going to your survey mode, selecting editing and remove duplicates. There you got the option of using heighting comparison. Civil Designer will use Y, X and Z coordinates when it checks for duplicates and retain line information. If you do go and select that, if Civil Designer does remove a point, it will re-triangulate the lines associated with the deleted point. And then we also give you the option of a filter. Because I selected the filter option, you have the option of specifying certain names that you'd like to pass. In this particular example, I don't have any surveyed names tags or descriptions associated to your points, different surfaces. You can do your entire project or you can go and specify a certain surface. Or you could go and use height constraints. Where would you like to see the results on our screen? In this case, there were zero points removed. If you click on OK and you go to your output window, you'll see the results of your removed points. At this stage, it may be a good idea to validate your DTM. This function is found under the terrain model. 